Sometimes I really wonder about engineers and builders, what they're thinking. So in uh, a lot of homes, the, conden the HVAC condensation will go through the wall somewhere in some hidden pipe system going through the ground outside. In this case, it's originally designed to come out here, right over there by the compressor, and just drip through there, go through here, and out through there. Kind of weird. And because it's so poorly designed, you have to use bleach or hydrogen peroxide in the summertime once a month or else it'll clog up. Some, they say sometimes every three months, but here in Florida every month because you're running the air conditioner almost constantly. So I have come up with something smarter, I believe, than what they have. I put a valve to stop the drainage from going through that one inch, no, three quarter inch uh, PVC. And instead have it coming through here. I put a valve there in case for whatever reason you want to block it, maybe to clean out that so it isn't sucking air through here. And the way I installed it is a, a constant grade down. So all the way along, it's always going down at no point, except for a very short distance of one inch, is it actually horizontal. So here, down, down, all down. Even here, still down, down, down. Avoid uh, avoid a horizontal position of the PVC. So if you have a sink and you're uh, close to where the HVAC is, this is an idea you can do this. For some reason, I, I did ask um, some so-called HVAC professionals, including the ones who installed this one this year, and they recommend against this. They try to it seems like they just made up any excuse they could why I shouldn't do this. They said, oh, you're going to hear this dripping, and it's going to smell, and it's going to be a different kind of water, so it's going to smell. Uh, that's nonsense. I don't smell anything. I don't hear anything because I installed this really well um, against the sidewall here, so dripping is minimal. So uh, a lot of people actually like the sound of dripping water. And so because of this continuous going gradient going down, I bet I never have to clean this or no, I shouldn't say that. I'll bet that this would only need to be cleaned once a year or maybe twice before summer and after summer is probably when I should do it just to be safe. But even though I still have to clean it, it's uh, it's going to be a lot more reliable than the other because what happened is um, this got clogged up pretty quick after this new install and it kept on causing system failure. And so that's not good, <laughs> especially I plan on going on vacation. I plan on uh, leaving, maybe not vacation, but leaving uh, Florida most summers and that's a pretty good four month span i don't want this thing clogging up it's inside the garage and i would have to give somebody my code to get in and all that kind of stuff and pay by credit card for somebody to come in here and fix this which is probably going to be 60 dollars minimum probably more like about 150 to get somebody out here just to clean clear that out so I think another stupid design of the builder, it, 
I don't think it's a code issue. Maybe it is, but for only using three quarter inch pipe that for something so critical like this, that needs to be clear all the time and that runs, I don't I have no idea where that runs when it goes behind the wall. I assume it kind of goes like what I installed there where it has a gradient coming down. It should, but look how long it would have to be. And it would, so I don't know what's going on, what they did, but it's really stupid. Um, now there, I have a disclaimer. You're in some jurisdictions or cities, you can't just do that. You have to have a permit. And so that's why I installed this valve here in case there is a code issue or whatever. Um, I can claim, well, all I got to do is turn the valve and turn these two valves and now it's back to the normal way. So that shouldn't be a code violation. But I was told by the HVAC installer that um, when the inspector came and approved this, after that, I can do anything I want. So this is post inspection. So it should be good. If not, I mean, worst case scenario, I'm going to get a fine. And it's not going to be much, but that's extremely unlikely. And I think the issue would mostly come up if I were to resell the house. And all I got to do is cut that off right there and put a cap on it. If this is not good enough for them, this can be cut off and a cap could be put right there. And then this would be independent and no longer a concern about code or whatever people are nuts they, uh, the far right extreme liberal whatever um, they they go they want to go by the book well i guess any political thought organization uh, oftentimes wants to be a stickler about things that they shouldn't be so worried about so again uh, to explain why i did this is to make the system more reliable and especially when I'm gone and I'm um, so that I don't have to hire somebody to come in here and clean this every month during the summer because I have to run the air conditioner in the summer to keep the humidity day, humidity down in the house. But I'm pretty proud of this install. I do have a pretty good amount of plumbing experience now that I was able to install this, I think really professionally better than anyone I could hire because I knew what I was doing. Um, it could have been possibly done better, but I don't see how it could have been a whole lot better. I even went through the trouble to drill a hole through the back of the shelf so it all stays flush against the wall. And I think the, the grade is really nice. It just looks really nice. I can kind of just touch up the, some of the glue there with some white paint and I like how I have this on the edge it's out of the way so I can use all the sink with this does not get in the way and it's pretty cheap to do for example this these parts 10 foot of this is like three dollars or something and these are about 60 cents a piece which I had to use a lot I had a, a lot of these elbows <laughs> there's two different types of elbows you have the uh, 45 degree and the whatever degree that one is and the most expensive thing may be these valves by the way when you're gluing these these into the valve be extremely conservative about the glue because if you use too much it'll get pushed into the ball and then you won't be able to turn this I've had that happen before and I had to cut it out and throw it all away oh yes all right so another thing, uh, what I would do if I were going to go on like a long vacation, I'm going to leave the house for a long time, I will open both valves. So if one gets clogged up, it has an auxiliary exit. And so that should, that would probably last a, a year or so like that before it would have to be cleaned out. So what do you think? Is there something I don't understand because, um, or is there something I'm doing wrong because it's, it just boggles my mind 
how stupid people can be to have a limited size pipe, three quarter inch, it should be at least an inch if they're gonna go through the wall like that because of the condensation um, gets bacteria, goo or whatever build up in there. So anyway, I really like my clean install. Uh, I think it looks good. What do you think?